Hello, my great students. Victoria Achaka, welcome to the class. Dawari Williams, you're welcome to the class. So pleased to have you. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome. Yeah, hello, my students. Uh -huh. I can see Daniel Busari. Daniel Busari, welcome to the class. You are very, very much welcome. Daniel Busari, welcome to the class. Uh, Victoria Chaka, you are once again welcome. Dawari, yeah, Dawari Williams, welcome again. Yeah. Yeah, we are, we are sorry that. I should make okay, the screen. I should put the screen. The document. Yes. Uh, please permit me to share my screen with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, hello. Uh huh. So I mm, thank you for eh? uh, yes I have hello hello I hope you are hearing me yes sir we can hear you sir great great so we are starting this way today um like I told you um in the last class that today we'll be having the topic today. And this topic three is, is dealing with the creation of a research problem, you know, and then the research problem, like I said on the last time, is a very important aspect of a research, without which there will be no research. So for the, today's topic is going to be a very explosive one that is germane in your, in your journey through research method skill acquisition. So uh, by way of uh, by way of um, learning intended learning outcomes, it is expected that uh, at the end of this lecture today, that uh, the importance of statement of research problem will be clearer to all of you, and the statement of problem itself you will also know and appreciate. The analysis of a problem also is intended to be clarified. Creating the research gap is also expected that you should know how to create a research problem, a research gap. You know, it, the points to be included in the research statement is also going to be glaring and unveiled to all of us. So I, I want to thank you for making it timely to this class as we sail into the lecture. Let us um, have the mindset that uh, it is going to be a participatory one, that at the end of the discourse, we are going to engage ourselves you know, into discussion of the uh, uh, fallouts of the class. So uh, come with me, let's go and then enjoy the class. Thank you. So we start with the importance of a statement of a research problem. Yeah, there are several needs for a research problem. In fact, where there is no problem, there will be no need for research. And because there is a problem, then the research must continue. You know, there is always a problem in the, in the, in the society. And so research becomes consistent research becomes a continuous process. So research problem well stated gives direction to the study. Research problem provides justification for the study. No doubt. If there is, like I said earlier, if there is no problem, there will be no need for solution, which research provides. The basic function of a research is to provide solution. And so this solution comes on the heel of a problem identified. You know, research problem justifies the research questions. Yeah, if there is no research problem properly stated, 
okay, that reflects questions or that produced questions. And these questions are ones that when they are answered, the problem is resolved. Then those questions are not fit to be. Research problem justifies the research objectives, no doubt. That because there is a connection between research topic and research problem and research question, then there is also further connection to research objective. Because if, if the questions are raised to be answered for the problem to be resolved, then the objective of the research, the purpose of the research, the aim of the research becomes to answer those questions. You know, research problem determines the choice of research methods to be used. No doubt, you know, and will agree with me that research is a process. It is also procedural as a matter of fact. Research enterprise is a procedural endeavor. It is a process in the first instance. So because it is a process and a procedure, it has procedures that you use to actualize it. You know, the importance of research statement of problem cannot be overemphasized because it's justification for the finding. If you have a research finding, that does not cohere or tie or connect to the research problem, then you have not done research. So we move further to what is a research problem? Research problem is not the consequence of a problem, but the suspected source. You know, some people will say, ah, Boko Haram, eh, Boko Haram this, Boko Haram that, Boko Haram this, banditry this, banditry that. It's not the number of uh, people that band, uh, Boko Haram have killed that is the problem. The problem is that underpinning the source of motivation to become a Boko Haram person. Research problem not the, is not the size of the impact of the problem but it's underpin. So research problem is not the nature of a problem, but the gap between the ideal situation and the reality of that event or issue. You know, the reality, I mean, the ideal situation as enunciated by Max, Max uh, by um, August Comte is that there be social order and not social upheaval. So if there is social order, that is ideal. That is the dream of the founding fathers of sociology. But where the opposite becomes the case, which is uh, upheaval, crisis, conflict, insecurity, then it becomes questionable, how did we get there from being orderly to disorderly. In Nigeria now, there come a time that we used to, it used to be a very, a very safe and secure uh, society. But today, virtually all parts of the country is laden with one insecurity crisis or the other. So the issue now is between where did we, where did we start having this and why? And not the number of casualties to insecurity, not the number of people that insecurity have consumed, but the difference between the ideal situation, which is orderliness, and the, the reality of the situation, which is now crisis. That is what research problem, that is a researchable problem. Research problem is the missing explanation or the missing gap to a social issues, despite research findings on the same issues, you know? So in analyzing research problem, research problem, we all know, creates focus for the study. Without a research problem, the study will have no focus. It is when you have carefully, carefully marked your research problem, when you have carefully crafted your research problem, 
that they, that study, that research will get a focus to examine this and that, A and B, okay? It is the research problem, it is the research problem that actually creates research objective. Of course, you know, when there's research question, there are research questions, the objective of that research becomes, of that researcher becomes to answer those questions. Research problem creates methodological options. The methodological options here means that there are various methods to be involved in research enterprise. And so the type you choose, your methodological preference depend completely on your research problem. It is research problem that validates the reliability of research findings. You cannot be talking about uh, uh, finding as valid or reliable when it is not solving the problem that was identified from the onset of the research. Okay, so research problem therefore exposes the gap in knowledge and contribution to knowledge. Research problem that is not gap created, that has not created any gap, is not a research problem. Research problem that has not created gap in knowledge is not a research problem. Research problem that, that uh, the gap is created is not filled by research finding. That research is not research. So the contribution to knowledge is measured by how much it's able to fill the gap in knowledge that, that was identified from the research problem. So research problem suggests theoretical theory to be used. Like you all know, that theoretical framework is actually a modeling device that models the variables in the, from the topic to the research problem. So without a topic and the proper articulation of the, the, the variables content or component of the topic and that of the problem, that theory will not be suitable. So theory determines I mean, a research problem determines the type of theory to be used. Research problem emerge from a critical review of literature. We will be talking more about creating research problem in the, in the course of this lecture later. But here in analysis of research problem, we observe that research problem emerge when critical review of literature is done. So in creating a research problem, we know that there are three fundamental reviews that must be done in order to expose the research problem. These reviews include literature review. Literature review, as it were, is addressing, um, a, sorry, engaging the discussion of findings, research findings of previous researchers. When you are doing this, just for doing sake, it will not produce result of a, research problem creation. But when you are doing it critically with the mindset of questioning whatever the researcher, the previous researcher is postulating or presenting without the mindset of saying, seeing how, how, how well done or how procedurally connected the claims of the previous researchers are, in their 
in their in their right in their report then you will not find a problem but if you are engaging literature with the mind with a critical mind you will definitely find out where the researcher that researcher has missed it so you base your argument on the missing link or the research gap generated by the work of previous researchers whose content you are you are reviewing it is from there you create your own niche to research upon it is from there you you problematize that defect that gap that missing link and it becomes a variable that is researchable Okay, so another, another review is the theoretical perspective review. For each topic or each issue, there are theories or theoretical perspective that will best address that issue. Some people, due to limited capacity, use theories that are inadequate theories that are out of it in addressing social issues. So if by way of going through review of theoretical framework, you find out that the theoretical frame so, so, uh, so presented is not connecting both the, the, the variables in the topic and the, the, the research problem and the question, then that research theory is defective. So it is important that you make sure that the theoretical frame so used is one that models the research problem. If it does not, you cash in on that weakness and say, this is do this A, B, C, D. Use this theoretical perspective that this research is going to use a different theoretical perspective. That becomes a research problem, a reason for you to coin a topic that will reflect that defect in theory. The safety methodology. Methodology, as I told you in the first class, is about, is, is, is about bringing together several methods into research you know for each research there are several methods you must apply in order to carry out a research ranging from the the sampling method to the designer to the approach to data collections to 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 you know data analysis these are various ways by which there are methods that you have to justifiably apply to carry out. So the, the, the accumulation or coming together of these various methods is what we call methodology. So in assessing and reviewing, evaluating these various methods during your review, those defects that you found for instance, those sampling techniques that were wrongly stated, that were not in conformity with the universal best practice in research, you must identify them and tag them as methodological flaw. It is on the basis of that. You could, on the basis of that, coin a topic to reflect such flaws, and it becomes a problem that even when this type of topic should have been should have been researched on using this method this other method was used so that gap a gap between the ideal and the reality becomes a research problem or research gap okay so gentlemen and ladies it's time for class activity. 
And I want to say that um, all of you who have been listening to me, I'm sure you've been making a lot of sense from what our, our discussion had been on. So can you please raise up your hand and mention the three reviews needed to create a research program? Yes, who can do that? The three major reviews needed to create a research problem. Yes, I can see your hands up, uh, Mr. Daniel Busari. I can see Mr. Olusola Afolari. Yeah, okay, I take your own first, Mr. Daniel Busari. Please unmute yourself and talk to me. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you, my brother. Very quickly, the three uh, methods of creating a research problem are uh, the literature review, okay. the theoretical review, okay. and, the met and the methodological review. Good, 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 good. That's correct. Absolutely correct. Please, let's clap for, for Busari. Busari, you, 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 you did it fine. That's good. That's good. That's good. So uh, another person is uh, Olushola Afolari. Yes, can you unmute yourself, please? And okay. talk to us. Good evening, sir. Oh, my dear. Uh, good evening. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the three... The three uh, reviews needed to create a research problem. We have yes. uh, the uh, theoretical review. We have okay. the literature review. Okay. And we also have the methodological review. That's absolutely correct. That's absolutely correct. That now, for me to place both of you who have made this wonderful attempt, because it seems you, by my grading, you should be having 100 over 100. <laughs> but I want somebody who will make it 120 over, <laughs> who will make it more than that. So can you tell me the fourth, the fourth criteria, the fourth, the fourth thing that must be done while carrying those reviews out? The fourth okay. item. Okay. Can I talk, sir? <laughs> Please do. Please do. do. Okay. We have um, the critical review of um, past research finding gaps wonderful that is really that going is... back to past wow. research to wonderful. get wonderful 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 so at the end of this class i'll be asking the class to to tell me to what extent the review should be and what about that fourth point is critical hmm? so let's okay. continue thank you so very much that you sound very impressive all of you Thank you so very much. And you're making the class lively. That's most, in, most importantly, you know. So we go to the next uh, uh, aspect of the class. That is the usefulness of research problem. How useful was the use of research problem? Now, a research problem, like you know, is one that explains the research question. Once the research problem is created, naturally, the research question questions begin to emerge because you can't you can't you can't create a problem uh, a, a problem that uh, that uh, so that is about rape and be raising questions about divorce you know that is not possible you know if you have such a, <laughs> uh, so, such such uh, contradiction it means that you are not doing research you know, it means you are simply not doing research. Just for instance, you have a topic on rape and your finding is, 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 is disclosing uh, uh, issues of uh, uh, human rights. I mean, that's crazy and it's, it's not research, okay? So the, the, the use of research problem is that it, it, it explains the questions, the research questions. The research questions further explain the research objectives. Like to my super, uh, my my project supervisees, I used to tell them. I used to use a word for them. I say, look, for you to uh, once you get your your problem established, the research question naturally emerges. From the research questions, you transpose them into your research objectives. 
The same way you transpose your research objectives into your literature review sub teams. Okay, so in this way, you are the, 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 the float of thoughts is coherent, is logical, is sequential. Okay, so that is it. So research problem also explains the research data gathering instrument. Okay, if you are researching on, for instance, <clears throat> for instance, um, um, say suicide or say uh, rape, for instance, let me use that word again, rape, you know that not all rape victims want to report. There is highly high rate of, uh, of uh, um, there is a low rate, low uh, report rate of, of issues that borders on rape. So, and so it needs some kind of moral suasion from the researcher in order to, 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 to appease the conscience or the moral sensitivity of the victim to open up. So in that case, it's not something you go and give somebody, the victim, the questionnaire to begin to feel. No, for me as a researcher, I, that, 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 that scenario has methodological uh, uh, implication. The method you use for such scenario is, is, is practically exploratory. In that sense, the approach for gather, uh, data collection will definitely be questionnaire. I'm, I'm sorry, will definitely be um, um, interview. So when you use moral suasion to persuade the, the victim to talk to you, you are recording his or her response. But if you go to say, hey, take this question, uh, questionnaire and feel for me, the first instance, it will be so devastated to even put down into black and white what her experience was. So you can see that to each problem, there is a specific instrument that you can use to gather primary data for it. To each problem, there is also um, the type of methods that you will apply. To each instrument, there is the type of uh, theory to be applied. So research problem determines the theoretical uh, method, determines the data collection instrument uh, uh, choice. It also determines the value production, utility and significance of the study. For instance, if you have, <coughs> if you don't have a well articulated research problem, there will be no value production. Because if that problem is resolved, what value will it produce? What utility is it providing? Of what significance is this value or utility going to be to the academia, to the society, to the policymakers, and to the victim of that problem? So to that extent, I see that the use of research problem is to explain the research value production, utility, and significance of the study. The use of research problem explains the research theory, like I said earlier. Contribution to knowledge of any research depends on the research problem. These are the uses of research problem. By way of conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, research problem Images when critical literature review compels the researcher to transit from ideal situation to reality of any issue under consideration. You know, so, so at this point, we have highlighted and discussed the various points under these topic three, creating a research problem. 
We have looked at it from different perspectives, the use, the importance, and the, its analysis. And so as we conclude here, we are very grateful that you gave us your attention, that you, you were here on time, even before technical challenges could allow me into the class. Thank you so very much, Victoria Chaka, Olusola Polarin, Dawari Williams, and many of you here, as I can see. So I want to appreciate you for the attention given to this class. And as we go into the plenary session, where you ask questions, you engage me on interactions, we talk about all we have said so far, I say thank you for being attentive and for even partaking in the class activity. I want to thank you and say, till we meet at the other end of the discussion, let me, uh, let me, let me, let me stop my, my screen share and uh, open the floor for us to discuss further all we have said so far. Thank you so much. Yeah, so at this point, we are going to be discussing the fallouts, the highlights of all that had been said in this topic. Yeah. And Ogochuku, you're welcome. Thank you for being there. Olua Sim, Olulana, Dawari William, once again, thank you. Victoria Achaka, once again, thank you. Olushola Folare, once again, thank you. So I want to have your contribution, your observations, your questions, and anything that you want us to discuss about problem research problem creation thank you mm -hmm. raise your hand up and let me know what the issue you want us to talk about is yeah mm -hmm. daniel busari welcome back so please as you raise your hand up unmute yourself and talk to me please as you raise your hands up you unmute yourself and then let's hear you speak. Let's hear your question. Let's hear your observation. Let's hear your suggestion. Let's also hear your advice. Yes. Yes, I'm waiting. Yes, class, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Any question at this point? Any observation? Anything you want us to share? Oh, all right, sir. Okay. I have a question. Sir, okay, as please. As a student of technology, uh, we okay. start, are they giving to us or we are the one that find a particular problem that piques our interest and we want to get a solution. Or we are, we are the one, or, the, or people give us such problems to solve. Okay, thank, thank you, thank you. I think I can get you. Is that uh, Mr. Daniel Busari? Yes, sir, it's Daniel Busari. Great, Mr. Daniel Busari, thank you for, the, for that uh, um, question. Now, I am... <clears throat> I guess what you want to ask is how, is that how do we create a uh, research problem, right? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, how, uh, addressing how we create research problem, I told you that you do that through review of literature, review of uh, methodological perspective, review of, of um, theoretical perspectives. Now, to start a research, if you imagine you want to start a research. The first thing to do is to first find an issue of interest. Is it, uh, um, is it issue of banditry? Is it issue of corruption? Is it issue of uh, money laundering? What is it the issue you want to do research on? Once that is established, 
The next thing is to find out the challenges that have been bedeviling de de that, that issue in your society, okay? Or in the society at large, okay? If it is, if it be corruption, for instance, then you say corruption is the issue I want to research in. So now you, you, you tie corruption to a particular variable. Corruption becomes your independent variable. Then the dependent variable must be sought up. You will say, you ask yourself, corrupt, is it corruption in civil service? Is it corruption in Nigerian police? Is it corruption in, uh, in uh, between husband and wife? Is it uh, domestic corruption? Is it international corruption? Is it what kind of corrupt, what corruption are you talking about? So if you tie it to the, uh, to what they call dependent variable, Okay, then you have established what we call causality because there must be a cause of something of something that is reactive. For any action, there is always a reaction. Is that not so? Uh -huh. If there is action, there is reaction. That cause, that that action, bearer, that action, that thing that create the action is the independent variable. Whereas that that receiver of the action is the dependent variable. So when you identify something uh, as, as an issue, like corruption, for instance, you must be able to identify another issue that is depending on that corruption to change. OK? Maybe the uh, 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 student uh, performance in the, in, the, in, in the university or secondary school due to corruption. Okay, so you have said that corruption exists and this is what it causes in the society, that it causes corruption in secondary school do not allow, does not allow students to, 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 be, to, to come out fine in their performance. So you have tied the two uh, variables. Now, when you introduce these variables, you are discussing in terms of corruption in secondary school and how they impact on student performance, for instance. Then when you go to SOP, that is statement of problem, which is very vital, you are now talking about how, what would have been the best situation in secondary school other than corruption. But seeing that best situation, which is credibility, is not there. Instead, corruption is there. See what it has cost. The, what it has cost is that students no longer depend on what they do, on what on reading. Rather, they are looking for where to get money to settle this and settle that. So you are you are coming from the ideal. The ideal is that teachers mind their work are credible and they, they are focused to the, in their work. Okay. And they are teaching what they're supposed to teach and doing what they're supposed to do as a teacher, but they are not doing it. So what we are saying here is that the gap between that which ought to be and that which is becomes the, pro the statement of the problem. It is not how many students have failed, how many schools have been closed because of corruption. That is not the issue. That is not the problem. That one is the consequence of corruption. That one is the impact of corruption. But what we are talking about here to be a problem is why is this school deviating from the, not the, from the acceptable way of doing things? That is teaching into a, a way of extorting money from students. That becomes a problem, okay? That's so a that is the way problem is created so and uh, this before you do this creation of problem that the research of other researchers their findings about corruption you must have gone through and seen the weakness of what they were they, they found and what they couldn't find that ought to be found that one becomes the guide to stating your problem concerning corruption. That is it. I don't know if I had made any 
any meaningful uh, explanation? Yes, sir. You have. I, am, I really appreciate it, sir. God bless you, my brother. Thank you, Busari. Is there anyone else who have something to say? Observation, you know, question or advice, please. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still waiting. Just raise your hand up, unmute yourself, and then let's talk. Okay. Hey, sir. Hey. Yeah. I would like to ask a question. Okay, so, please go ahead. Okay. So um, while you were talking, you made mention of different types of corruption. Okay. And there was something catchy about one of the types of corruption where you said, I think you said, is it uh, corruption in marriage? I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. How I am trying to understand how it is possible, like for corruption to exist in marriage. Uh, in marriage, right? Huh? Hello? Hello, uh, Afola Ring? Are you there? Yes, I am, sir. Sorry. Okay. My you, you're, you're talking about corruption in marriage. How does it exist? Hello? Hello? Hello, Ms. Afolari? I'm trying to. OK. Just My apologies, not... sir. My network no, is. No, no problem. Is no problem. So, so you're talking about corruption no, in marriage? To, uh, how is it possible? Yes, how is it how, possible? How is it possible? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, there is no, no, no aspect of life that corruption cannot exist. OK? OK. Uh huh. Even 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 uh, in uh, in um, uh, brotherly relationship, even in friendship, in marriage, there is no aspect of life corruption does not exist. When a husband or a wife trusts the husband, if the wife trusts the husband so much that uh, she discloses everything about her in terms of financial and other things, you understand? Yes, sir. Uh huh only for that husband to cash in on those disclosure to begin to manipulate the woman to his own advantage is that not corruption oh okay yes that's it uh -huh. and the, you as a woman if you were given the ten thousand to prepare a pot of soup <laughs> and you are you know that this ten thousand must make in fact meat will be oh one bear meat you know what i mean <laughs> uh -huh. yes. And it must be one that when somebody tests it, he will, he will ask for more. And mm -hmm. you decide to pocket the 7,000 and use 3,000 to do, to, to do the soup. And you are asked, ah, 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 that me don't finish. You say, ah, well, uh, um, we had visitors yesterday and we, we this and that and story, story. Is that not corruption? Yes, it is. That's corruption. So there's no part of life that corruption do not exist. Okay. Uh -huh. So is there any other thing? I thought you were going to ask about uh, um, creation or, or uh, research problem. You know, research problem is what the topic is here, you know. Yes, I know. But I was just wondering how corruption okay. and marriage came into okay. existence. Okay. So, so the point is that uh, research... It's a universal language, and yeah. um, and um, there is no no and just like there is nothing under the sun that had not been researched on, so is the language of research. Research here in Nigeria is research in America, in uh, Vietnam, in China, anywhere. So that is it. Please, uh, I need some more more. Uh, intriguing intriguing questions observations and contribution please i want to learn from you i want to learn your perspective so tell critique what i have said to your to the best of your capacity please so that we 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 we, we still have some 10 15 minutes more to go you know this is five, four to five class so please Let's utilize maximumly our time. Raise your hands up and then ask me your question. Yes, I see Anne Ogochuku. Is that your twin sister? Your hand is up, Anne. Please unmute yourself and talk to us. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. So after you, Victoria Chaka will come on board and talk to us. Oh, good evening, sir. Good evening, beloved. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Thank okay. you. Okay, which level are you in? Which level? Oh, which level? level? Okay, have you started oh, your project? I know, no, I know. Have you started your project? No, not yet, sir. Okay, okay, I okay. Haven't. Okay, so okay. please fire on. Give me your question. Okay, though I joined this class very late. So yeah. I can't really flow that. Okay, so, okay. But we not... have problem. Mm -hmm. Hello, sir. Yes, I'm hearing you. Now, have a... When you say that research is mm. a universal language, you okay. always have to say that research everywhere in attempt to uh, explain what you mean by this you did say that mm. research in america mm. as research in nigeria mm. in parts of the world also yeah. now i'm really confused about this. does this mean yeah. that the way we do our research care in nigeria the same method mm. in america mm. and around the world good 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 have you have you read up to where this the concept of universalism no no sir okay, okay this the concept we call universalism theory is universal research is universal and some some codes are universal codes okay for instance um yes there might be some fraction of uh a barbaric or uh, uh, yeah barbaric people who are still going naked okay but otherwise wearing clothes is a universal thing is that not so it is covering our nakedness is a universal thing is that not so so researching to, uh, to to find out a problem and resolve the problem is a universal pro uh, process and procedure so the yeah. fact that the research has procedures all researchers have procedures they have a timeline and they have what they call problem problem is the central reason for research therefore what is problem here can also be problem in america in london in anywhere so research way the way of addressing research is the same thing anywhere in the world that is why when you get it wrong, it is easily dictated. Uh -huh. Then again, research has three fundamental qualities or characteristics. These three are objectivism. There is no sentiment. There is evidence and there is, uh, uh, there is no speculation. So if your finding is not a speculation, is not, uh, have no evidence, have no procedure then it is not research your research must have your research finding must have evidence procedure and uh, it must go through a process so the three fundamental uh, 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 characteristics of research is objectivism replication replication by replication i mean all research process that ends to a, pro, a, a, a solution done by a if B comes to do the same process, it, that B must also arrive at the same uh, solution. If not, then the A has not done well. Okay? So uh, the third one is uh, procedural. All research anywhere in the world is procedural. You cannot have chapter five as the first one and have chapter one as the last one. We have chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, chapter five. It's only in, in rare occasion that some people say they do chapter six. Okay, so the procedure and the and the process is alike. Okay, then the the title, the title it remains it remains the, 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 the title anywhere. It must have two variables. Two variables are the first one will be independent variable and the other one will be dependent variables. And if you have these two variables in place on the title of the, of the topic of the research, that means you have respected the universal law of causality in social sciences. 
universal law of causality in social sciences stipulates that an action, a social action, automatically ignites a social reaction. So if I slap you now, for instance, um, Ogotchuku and won't you rub your hand on that place where I slap you and say, ah, oh, that, why did you slap me now? Abi? Hello? I will. Aha, uh -huh. you ask at least because you are a living being. Yeah, I said definitely. Aha, uh -huh. I can't slap you and you just keep quiet. And then you walk away. No. Action begets reaction. Is that not so? In social sciences, where me and you we belong, it, we, we call that the law of causality. So if your research topic is not respecting that law of causality, that topic is not researchable. Thank you so very much, uh, Anne Ogochuku, with your twin sister. <laughs> so is there any, did I, did I make uh, justice to what you have, uh, your question? Have I done justice to it? Yes. Or oh, is there any other thing uh, you want like to, to ask? ask? Okay. Go ahead and ask again if you want. Uh, I don't really know to come in because I started very very late. I was able to ask here because today I joined the class. Yes, I would have so many questions to ask from the topics you treated already. Okay, okay. Ne ne never mind. You you know what? Because our time is fast spent. What we will do, what we will do is go back to your line, to your online portal, okay? okay? You will. I, I, I have passed this um, discussion on the on the YouTube. Okay. okay. So you will get the lectures, and then if you have any further question to ask, you ask either by next class, which is four to five p.m. next week Wednesday, or you you email me in dix d i e w and d i g w e at noun.edu.ng okay so we can continue the discussion from there yeah. or if you are in abuja you can come around uh, your headquarters in jabi and come to the office of the head of department that is my office by the grace of god all right thank you sir thank you I'm so god bless you yeah god bless you I'm yeah so all right. So, um, Victoria Achaka, I saw your hands up at a point. Do you still yes, have sir. your question for me? Yes, sir. Okay, my dear, please write on. Yes, sir. I'm having a problem on what is a research problem. I want to get more inside of what is a research problem. In the first um, role that you put on, you said research problem is let, not let the me go there. Let me go there again. Let, let me share yes, my, my, my screen again. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so I, I'm coming. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. What is a research problem? Yes, Are this you with first me? one. Yes, sir. Uh -huh, I want you to one. explain. Yes, the first, the first one. one. I want you to. Yeah. Okay. Research problem is not the consequence of a problem, but the suspected source. Yes, sir. I want you to now, explain more. Now, now, research problem. Yes, sir. Now, for instance, in Nigeria, you know, almost every day, Boko Haram kill people. Is that not so? Yes, sir. Almost every day, people people are, are killed by bandits or kidnappers. Yes, sir. Now, the problem, the research problem here is not the people killed. Okay. It's also not the people kidnapped. Okay. The research problem is underpinning the background basis for somebody to opt to be a Boko Haram person or to be a bandit or to be mm. a kidnapper. Okay, sir. Do you understand? It yes, is not sir. about the consequence of the, of the action, but okay. about what is it, the motivating factor? The yes, underpinning sir. thing, that thing inside the mind of that person, yes, sir. that propelled the person, that made okay. joining Boko Haram attractive to him. Okay. You know, there, there could be many things that are that can make Boko Haram attractive. Maybe the money they paid that they collect, 
or yes, whatever sir. thing or the belief system or whatever thing yes sir so that is it ma sir okay sir thank you mm. very much sir any mm. further question no sir um okay okay so go to your yes, your online youtube uh, i have uploaded the same uh, lecture over there for you to mm. go through again if you have any further question or challenge please do well to give me either a mail or you come to my office the the office of your head of department in jabi okay. headquarters okay, okay well done i hope you have gotten your your project started yes sir i'm not a project student sir pgd okay you are okay but you have not finished your coursework to do your your project yes you know you will write your project now don't you know seven three okay. css seven three two yes sir okay you just started the pgd not quite long yes sir Oh no wonder. So you have you are you still have this this uh, semester from next semester you'll be talking about project. Yeah, I okay. can see. Thank you so very much. Uh, um um what's your name again? Victoria. Victoria, Victoria. Yes, Thank yes, you sir. for being part of this discussion. Um, yes, I can sir. still see Anne Ogochuku's hand up. Please, Anne, do you have any further question to ask? Unmute yourself and let's hear you. Yeah. Please, my question again is what Victoria just asked. Is what? She was asking that. Is it? The same question she asked. The same question okay. Victoria just asked is what I'm okay. about asking. Okay. Did you get okay, the clarification? She asked. She asked that yeah, that you should explain what uh, research problem is. Just tell us this is what research problem is. Like if you are to give it a definition or a brief definition, what is research problem? That's what I want to get. I didn't really get what you said now when you were trying to explain. Um, okay, re re research problem is the difference between the ideal situation and the reality of that situation okay the difference between the ideal situation and the reality of that situation what ought to be versus what is you are supposed to go through facilitation before you write your exams is that not so? Yes. But sometimes facilitation becomes impossible to, to undertake before your exams. Is that not a problem? It is. It is a problem. That is a simple way of, of crafting a, problem, a research problem. Okay. So now you construct your research topic in terms of that conclusion. Do you understand it? Okay, okay, sir. God bless you. So, no, should no, you have no, further? Uh -huh. I want to ask another question. I want to ask. Okay. Is the difference between is, uh, the, 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 I want to know the difference between research problem and literature review. Yeah, literature review is a review of <clears throat> of uh, content of researches people researchers have done in the past that you want to understand the perspective that they used to do the research. You want to understand the processes they follow, the procedures they follow, the methods they follow, the theories they, they, they used, okay, to do those researches. In, and this literature must be relevant to your own topic of interest. So <clears throat> the research problem on its own is the problem generated from a research, <coughs> excuse me, a research topic. This research topic is usually coined out of literature review. When you review li literature and go through theory and methods, and you find deficiency, <coughs> excuse me, in the universal ethos or universal method of doing research, and you decide to write the wrong, you say, oh, 
this guy, instead of using motivation theory, he used the classical theory <coughs> from Marx, Karl Marx. Then you want to, you want to prove that what that person, that past researcher, had done is not a sufficient. It's not. It's not done with sufficient uh, uh, procedure or, or, or process. Then that is how you bridge the gap by doing your own research, which will be done in line with the problem you created. Okay. Okay. So research That's problem is a completely a different thing that must respect your research topic. Whereas literature review is the is the review of collections of other research works that other people, other researchers have done in the past that speaks about your own topic. Okay. And you don't just read them just for reading sake. You you critically evaluate them by asking questions so that you can know where they have not they got it wrong and you cash in on that area where they got it wrong to do your own research to get it right and fill the gap. Okay. Th thank you so much, Anne Ogochuku. In essence, you could say yes. that research simply means looking in again, searching thank again. God bless you. Were you in the, in the first class? You no, talk as if you were in the first class. No, I wasn't. Wow, that, that, that's brilliant of you. I, 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 I really talked about this, you have just said, in the first topic. Okay. Research, that's looking into the, 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 the topic again. Research, okay. redoing it, you know, doing it again, you know. Okay. Well done, Ogotchuku. You see, you have taught me something now. You become my lecturer. Okay, they, okay, yes, so yes, so I told you from the beginning that you guys can teach me and I can teach you guys. So well done. So the next person whose hand is up, aside from that of hello, you, sir. Yes. Okay, sir. Now, in essence, we could say that since the essence of literature review is mm. to look into or to mm. previous research or look at those lapses. Mm in or the already done uh, Research. researches now mm. from after you've looked into and, and you've been able to pinpoint that uh, lapses uh, you cash in on that lapses you cash in on the laps on the lapses in the other now oh. you hold on to that that lapse you have okay that now lapses. this lapse is hello now we'll give back to what Okay, now the lapses will give birth to what is known to as your own uh, topic, to the issue uh, of is the your topic, problem, which mm. is the research problem. Yeah, no, no, it will give rise to the issue of your research topic, which first of all creates a research topic for you, and then the the the, the defects okay. in that okay, research sir. will help you when you are trying to say this man would have done it this way, research would have done it this way, but this is way the way he did it which becomes a problem. So you want to okay. remedy it. That is the point where problem comes in and is created. Okay. Mm. Thank you, my dear. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So Thank you I, very much. Sir. All right. It's a pleasure. So the next person is uh, Dawari Williams. Please, your hand is up. Unmute yourself and let's discuss. Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, my brother. How are you? All right. Thank you, sir. Okay, dear. What's your question? What's your observation? Okay, so my question is a brief one. I just okay. want to find out the, when we say research problem, is it the same as a research question? Wait, what? Is research problem the same as research question? Not at all, not at all. But rather, a research question or research problem gives rise to research uh, questions. Research problem gives rise to research questions. The okay. essence of this research question is that when those questions are answered, the research problem will be resolved. Okay. And research questions also give rise to research objectives. Okay. And research objectives also give rise to the sub themes of a literature review. Because you cannot review something outside your research questions or research objectives. 
You must re review literature in line with your research objectives and research questions. Otherwise, we are reviewing a miss. Okay. Yes, thank you. Thank you, it's a pleasure. That way, I'm glad to, to get this your question. Yes. Who else? Who else? Yeah, we, are, we have run out of time, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we want to call it uh, a day for today. Hoping that um, another next week, five to uh, four to five Wednesday, four to five p.m. Wednesday next week will be another wonderful day that we will have another class. And so I must confess, I've enjoyed every bit of this today's class. I'm hoping and believing that we will, we will, we will do better next week. And you will be the, you will come in your numbers more than this number today, so that uh, it will be a more a more a more house feeling class. Mm? Thank you so much for your taking out your time to be here and be here in time. Uh, I apologize for any any technical challenges we may have had. Uh, as you log into your portal, you will see the uh, the the link to this lecture and then go through it and if you have any concern further you want to discuss with me you either come to my office the office of the head of department of CSS in Jabi headquarters or you can write me in digwe at noun dot edu dot ng to discuss or ask question you know, so that is uh, that for today. Thank you so very much for finding time to be part of this class. As we close the class today, I wish you all a happy evening. Thank you. Bye bye. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. It's a pleasure. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, sir. Bye. bye. bye.